Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the modern technologies in steel manufacturing, heavy-duty forging, casting and the production of the reactor plant. The journey from raw materials to steel is a global endeavor, these raw materials are transported by ship and rail, converging at the production hub. The transformation begins with the processing of iron ore into concentrated iron ore pellets. These small spheres are convenient for transport, storage, and processing. Within the sprawling steel production facility, several towering blast furnaces, some as tall as 15-story buildings, work tirelessly, churning out up to 14,000 tons of pig iron daily. The process commences as coke and ore are conveyed to the blast furnace, alternating layers by means of a rotary chute. As the layers descend, rising processed gas, generated by preheated air at 1,200 degrees Celsius, initiates the reduction and melting of iron ore. This arduous process, taking eight hours, culminates in liquid iron and slag in the lower part of the furnace, with periodic tapping every two hours. At around 1,450 degrees Celsius, the pig iron and slag are forcibly discharged through the tap hole and immediately separated. Samples are taken to assess quality, a task performed by professionals donned in protective gear. Below, torpedo ladle cars, named for their elongated shape, await their payload. The scale of the steel mill at Skeeter Flash Star is awe-inspiring, spanning over 400 meters in length, a space vast enough to accommodate nearly 480 detached houses. The next phase sees pig iron poured from torpedo ladles into transport ladles, each holding approximately 200 tons. Scrap is introduced into the process alongside pig iron, both converging in a converter. At Skeeter's site, there are three LD converters utilizing technically pure oxygen through porous plugs and an oxygen lance. The intense heat further refines the molten pig iron while removing unwanted elements, known as carbon drop. Although temperatures can theoretically reach 3000 degrees, they are controlled to around 1700 degrees by the introduction of chill scrap. This converter process, lasting approximately 40 minutes, transforms pig iron into crude steel, with each converter boasting a capacity of 220 tons. The site produces up to 12,500 tons of crude steel daily. Yet, steel is not a one-size-fits-all material. Depending on its intended purpose and customer requirements, alloying elements such as manganese, silicon, chromium, nickel, titanium, and molybdenum are added to the crude steel at the VPL plant to create specialized, high-grade steel. These distinct steel grades are then directed to continuous casting lines that fashion them into slabs from the molten steel. These slabs develop a solid outer shell while the core remains molten. The slabs are subsequently torch cut into manageable pieces for shipment. These slabs, some as thick as 35 centimeters and weighing up to 32 tons. The hot rolling process is responsible for transforming steel slabs into a wide range of products, including sheets, plates, and structural components. It involves a series of precisely controlled steps that impart strength, shape, and desirable properties to the steel. Heating. The process begins with heating steel slabs to extremely high temperatures, often exceeding 1200 degrees Celsius. This intense heat softens the steel and makes it more malleable, preparing it for deformation. Rolling. 
The heated slabs are then fed through a series of rollers within the hot rolling mill. These rollers gradually reduce the thickness of the steel while also shaping it according to the desired specifications. As the steel passes through the rollers, it undergoes significant mechanical pressure, which refines its grain structure and enhances its strength. Cooling. After the rolling process, controlled cooling is often applied to the steel. This controlled cooling can be achieved through various methods, such as air cooling or water quenching. Cooling is essential for stabilizing the steel's properties and preventing deformation. Sizing and inspection. The rolled steel undergoes further processing, including sizing and inspection. This stage ensures that the steel meets the precise thickness and dimensional requirements specified by customers. Quality control measures are in place to identify and rectify any defects or deviations. Experienced operators oversee the entire process, ensuring precise control over temperature, pressure, and rolling speed. Modern technology, including data networks and automation, plays a crucial role in monitoring and optimizing the mill's performance, ensuring consistency and efficiency. Walter Tosto Spa, located in Italy, has established itself as a global leader in the manufacturing of high-pressure equipment and vessels, with a strong reputation for quality and precision. One of the key assets in their production process is a state-of-the-art robotic welding system. This system boasts an impressive ability to coordinate eight axes simultaneously, ensuring unparalleled precision with a repeatability of 0.1 millimeters. The robot's load-bearing structure is ingeniously designed to minimize bending, even at maximum extension, ensuring the highest quality welds. Its large work area allows for flexible arrangements of pieces, facilitating circular welding around the beam. Additionally, the facility features a Correa Versa gantry milling machine, equipped with five axes. This advanced machine can handle pieces up to 10.5 meters in length, 1.65 meters in height, and 6.8 meters in width, all while maintaining exceptionally tight tolerances. Furthermore, the company has invested in five furnaces for heat treatment operations, each tailored for different sizes, temperatures, and thermocouple needs. With an extensive machine park and cutting-edge technologies, the facility has the capability to conduct all critical activities in-house, ensuring that every high-pressure equipment and vessel they manufacture meets the highest standards of quality and reliability. At Goodwin Steel Castings, the production process of a steel casting begins with the meticulous creation of the casting mold. This step is absolutely critical, as it defines the final shape and characteristics of the steel casting. The foundry's skilled craftsmen excel at crafting molds tailored to exacting specifications, accommodating a wide range of applications. The company's expertise extends to handling high alloy and nickel alloys, allowing them to meet specialized requirements within industries like power generation. Following mold preparation, the foundry experts move on to the melting process, a stage where precision is paramount. Their distinction lies in its ability to work with a diverse array of alloys, including the historic achievement of producing the world's first Mar BN, 9% CR steel, 
casting for advanced ultra supercritical power generation. During this phase, strict control over alloy composition and temperature is maintained to ensure the desired material properties are achieved. The company's groundbreaking research and development efforts have yielded remarkable advancements in steel alloys. For instance, the development of the G130 grade has expanded the possibilities for heavy section castings, particularly in applications where turbines operate above 700 degrees Celsius. This innovation has extended the section size limitations of super duplex stainless steel castings while simultaneously enhancing corrosion and impact resistance making it an ideal material choice for a broad spectrum of applications. The company's machine shop represents the pinnacle of advanced manufacturing, featuring state-of-the-art CNC machining and inspection facilities. These CNC machines aren't just tools. They are precision instruments used to refine and shape castings to exacting standards. The intricate and precise machining carried out at Machine Shop is essential to meet the stringent requirements of industries such as power generation. The welding stage plays a crucial role in enhancing the strength and durability of castings, especially in applications subjected to high levels of stress. This machine shop offers a diverse range of welding processes, including robotic overlay welding of hard facings and nickel-based cladding. These processes contribute to the resilience and longevity of the castings. Furthermore, the machine shop employs various welding methods such as GMAW, FCAW and SAW for both manual and robotic welding, ensuring flexibility and adaptability to meet diverse customer needs. Quality control is a paramount concern at here. Rigorous testing procedures are conducted to ensure that the castings meet and exceed the required standards. The company employs both destructive and non-destructive testing methods to scrutinize properties such as corrosion resistance, impact resistance, and structural integrity. Cutting-edge equipment like scanning electron microscopes equipped with spectrographic EDX are employed for in-depth metallurgical analysis, ensuring that the highest quality is maintained throughout the manufacturing process. Goodwin's capabilities extend to assembling complex product assemblies, some weighing up to an astounding 100,000 kilograms. This final step showcases the company's unparalleled ability to handle massive and intricately designed components, delivering end-to-end -end solutions to its customers. The forging process for large long shaft forgings is a critical aspect of heavy equipment manufacturing, as these forgings serve as core components in machinery and equipment. The quality and performance of these forgings are of utmost importance due to the heavy loads and complex operations they endure. To meet these stringent requirements, 
The free forging process has been developed and optimized to reduce production costs, energy consumption, and improve forming quality. Large long shaft forgings play a pivotal role in heavy equipment manufacturing, serving as transmission shafts and key components. Given their critical role, these forgings must meet extremely high quality standards. The production process for large long shaft forgings involves several stages, including pre-forging heating, the forging process itself, and post-forging heat treatment. Due to the complexity of production, various factors come into play, necessitating the development of a rational free forging process to ensure the safe heating of the ingot, reduce heating time, save energy, and meet the necessary heat treatment requirements. The significance of large long shaft forgings lies in their installation in critical parts of machinery and their exposure to heavy loads. Consequently, these forgings must be free from defects such as porosity, segregation, and inclusions to achieve the required performance. As these forgings are typically made from ingots, which inherently contain metallurgical defects, addressing these defects becomes essential. This involves eliminating the metallurgical defects of the ingot itself achieving a uniform fine grain structure, and ensuring a quantitative distribution of mechanical properties in the forging. The quality of these forgings not only drives industrial development but also ensures the safety of equipment operators. The free forging process offers several advantages over traditional forging methods. It employs simple tools and offers greater flexibility and versatility, which can rectify the shortcomings of traditional forging techniques. By improving the free forging process for large long shaft forgings, it becomes possible to obtain uniform fine grain structures, shape the forgings as required, and reduce or eliminate internal defects in the ingots, thus enhancing the overall performance of these forgings. The heating process is a critical aspect of large long shaft forging production. It involves pre-forging heating, forging, and post-forging heat treatment. Given the single-piece production nature of large forgings, any rejection or scrapping of forgings can result in significant economic losses and construction delays. Therefore, it is imperative to establish rational heating specifications that ensure the safe heating of steel ingots and minimize heating time thus contributing to energy conservation. The optimization of heating specifications involves careful consideration of temperature and stress fields within the steel ingot during heating. The goal is to achieve rapid and efficient heating while minimizing stress, especially at the core of the ingot. Parameters such as insulation temperature and time during the phase change period are critical for achieving efficient heating. Additionally, the choice between low temperature and high temperature charging methods must be made while controlling the highest charging temperature to prevent adverse effects on the forging. The radial axial ring rolling machine is a remarkable piece of industrial equipment known for its precision and efficiency in producing seamless rings of various sizes and materials. Let's delve into how this machine operates and why it is highly regarded in the manufacturing world. The process begins with the production of a ring blank. Specialized presses are used to create these blanks, typically from cylindrical or rectangular billets of metal. 
These blanks are initially oversized to account for the material that will be displaced during rolling. The ring blank is heated to a specific temperature to make it more malleable. The heating process typically consumes a significant portion of the energy used in ring rolling. Once heated to the right temperature, the blank is placed onto the radial axial ring rolling machine. There are two primary rolling methods, radial and radial axial. In the radial method, the blank is rotated as it's compressed between two rollers. In the radial axial method, an additional axial force is applied to elongate the blank while it's being rolled. This elongation allows for the production of rings with a more pronounced height. Advantages of the Radial Axial Ring Rolling Machine Energy Efficiency One of the standout features of this machine is its energy efficiency. Precise rolling, aided by sophisticated control systems, minimizes material wastage and reduces energy consumption during the heating phase. High Precision The laser measuring systems and advanced control technology ensure that the rings produced have tight tolerances and meet stringent quality standards. Material versatility. The radial axial ring rolling machine can work with a wide range of materials, from carbon steel to super alloys, providing manufacturers with flexibility in their production processes. Cost-effective production. The combination of energy efficiency, precise rolling, and material versatility results in cost-effective production, as it reduces the need for excessive material, machining, and energy consumption. During the rolling process, precise measurements are crucial. Many machines are equipped with laser measuring systems that continuously monitor the outer diameter of the ring. This data feeds into a control system that adjusts the machine's parameters to ensure the final product meets the desired specifications. The rolling process shapes the blank into a ring, but it may not achieve the exact final dimensions and tolerances. Additional machining or heat treatment may be necessary to achieve the desired properties and dimensions. HGG Group's Large Diameter Pipe Cutting Machine is specialized tools designed for the precision cutting of large diameter pipes, particularly in industries like offshore construction. This machine plays a pivotal role in ensuring the quality and accuracy of pipe-to-pipe -pipe connections and are known for their efficiency and versatility. Cutting Technology Large diameter pipe cutting machines utilize advanced CNC, computer numerical control, technology to execute precise cuts on large pipes. They can accommodate pipes with diameters ranging from 50 mm to a substantial 8,000 mm and varying wall thicknesses, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Data Input To initiate the cutting process, operators input either 3D CAD files or 2D drawings of the desired pipe sections and connections. These machines are compatible with various industry standard formats, ensuring flexibility in data preparation. Data Processing Once the data is provided, the large diameter pipe cutting machine software processes it to determine the optimal cutting path and parameters. This step involves generating NC, numerical control, data, which serves as instructions for the machine's cutting head. Cutting precision. The cutting head of the machine is equipped with specialized cutting tools that can execute a variety of bevels including V-bevels, Y-bevels, K-bevels, and X-bevels. 
These bevels are crucial for welding preparations and ensure that the pipe-to-pipe -pipe connections are made with precision and reliability. Transportability. These machines are designed for transportability, making them suitable for on-site cutting. They can be easily transported to the location, eliminating the need to transport large pipes to a central cutting facility. This feature significantly reduces logistical complexities and costs associated with large-scale construction projects. The 2-ton Hydra pneumatic forging hammer is an innovative and highly efficient forging tool that has revolutionized the metalworking industry. Developed by Forge Tech Services Limited in the UK, this hammer is an upgraded version of the 1.5-ton Massey Rigby type hammer, now boasting a 2-ton capacity. Its operation is based on a combination of hydraulic power, nitrogen, and advanced cooling systems, making it a powerful and environmentally friendly choice for forging processes. At its core, the Hydra pneumatic forging hammer utilizes hydraulic power to provide the lifting force required for the forging process. This hydraulic force is responsible for raising the hammerhead to the desired height, allowing it to be positioned precisely over the workpiece. Once in position, the hammer utilizes nitrogen as the blow motive force. Nitrogen is an excellent choice for this purpose as it offers a high degree of controllability and can deliver powerful blows to the material being forged. One of the standout features of this hammer is its air or water cooling system. The cooling system helps maintain the hammer's efficiency and prolong its lifespan. It prevents overheating, ensuring consistent performance even during prolonged use. This cooling system also contributes to the hammer's high blow rate, allowing for rapid and efficient forging of materials. The Hydra pneumatic forging hammer is known for its superior control. Operators can precisely adjust the force and speed of each blow, making it suitable for a wide range of forging applications. This level of control results in high-quality finished products with minimal waste and rework. One of the most significant advantages of this hammer is its energy efficiency. Unlike traditional forging hammers that rely on compressed air, the Hydra pneumatic forging hammer offers a groundbreaking approach to energy consumption that sets it apart as a remarkable advancement in the field of metalworking. Traditional forging hammers primarily rely on compressed air to generate the force required for forging operations. While compressed air has been a staple in manufacturing for many years, it has some inherent drawbacks. The compression and storage of air can result in significant energy losses, especially when considering the conversion of electrical energy into compressed air and the subsequent release of that energy during the forging process. This inefficiency can lead to increased operating costs, higher energy bills, and a larger carbon footprint. Ring rolling is a manufacturing process used to produce seamless, circular rings with a variety of diameters and cross-sectional shapes. This process is commonly employed in industries to create parts like bearings, flanges, and gears. Ring rolling machines play a crucial role in this process, enabling the transformation of raw materials into precise and durable ring-shaped components. Here's how a ring rolling machine works. The heated material is placed in the ring rolling machine, where it is positioned between two main rollers. One roller remains stationary while the other is driven by a powerful hydraulic or mechanical system. The roller's axial feeding mechanism moves the material closer to the forming area.
As the material is gradually fed into the rolling machine, the main rollers exert both axial and radial pressure on it. The axial pressure reduces the height of the workpiece, while the radial pressure causes it to expand outward, forming a ring shape. This process continues as the rollers rotate at precise speeds to achieve the desired dimensions and thickness. In some cases, an additional mandrel or idler roll may be used inside the ring to maintain its internal diameter and provide greater control over the shape and dimensions. This can be particularly important for achieving tight tolerances and ensuring the finished ring meets the required specifications. After the ring reaches its desired dimensions and shape, it is usually cooled to prevent deformation and maintain its structural integrity. Cooling methods can include air or water quenching. Additionally, the finished ring is inspected for any defects or imperfections to ensure quality and accuracy. Ring rolling machines come in various sizes and configurations to accommodate a wide range of ring sizes and shapes. The process offers several advantages, such as reduced material waste, enhanced mechanical properties, and the ability to create complex geometries. It is a versatile and efficient method for producing high-quality rings used in diverse industrial applications. At Great Wall Steel Casting, the manufacturing process of slag pots involves several key steps, with most operations taking place in-house at their foundry plant. Here is an overview of the process. Molding. Sand molds are used to shape the slag pot. The exact dimensions and design are based on engineering patterns. Trunnions. If required, trunnions are cast into the slag pot. These trunnions are typically made from S355 J2G3 steel to meet DIN N102502 standards. Melting. The melting process occurs in the oxygen steel plant. The ladle has a capacity that allows for a continuous bottom pouring process, which is continuously monitored for speed and quality. Metal analysis is performed using a computer-linked spectrograph to ensure the right composition. Heat treatment. The slag pot undergoes heat treatment, which includes heating to a temperature above AR3, austenitizing, at around 915 degrees Celsius. Controlled cooling in a furnace is then followed by an intermediate holding phase at 600 degrees Celsius to 630 degrees Celsius. The cooling process continues in the furnace until the temperature reaches 300 degrees Celsius. Fettling and dressing. The inner surface of the slag pot is carefully processed to remove surface discontinuities that could cause slag to stick. Additionally, the castings are descaled using shot blasting. The exterior of the slag pot is coated to protect it during transportation. This comprehensive manufacturing process ensures the production of high-quality slag pots that meet the required standards and are ready for use in various industrial applications. The production of the reactor plant for the newest nuclear-powered icebreaker the process begins with the casting of blanks, which are the starting materials for various components of the reactor plant. These blanks weigh a total of 547 tons and are subjected to extreme heat, reaching temperatures of up to 1200 degrees Celsius. This high temperature forging is essential to create the strong and durable components required for the icebreaker's reactor. Machining of flange holes. One of the most challenging tasks is machining the flange holes for the steam generator cassettes. It takes 39 hours to machine just one hole, involving 38 meticulous steps and specially developed tools and processes to achieve the required accuracy. Corrosion-resistant surfacing. A total of 10 tons of corrosion-resistant tape is applied to safeguard the metal surfaces. This surfacing process spans over eight months and adds an additional layer of protection to the reactor components, ensuring their longevity.
Making the girth weld. The girth weld is a critical component that holds the reactor vessel together. It requires four days of continuous welding, using an impressive 600 kilograms of molten metal wire. The thickness of the weld measures 150 millimeters, welding the nozzles and heat treatment. To ensure their durability and integrity, they undergo a meticulous welding process. The metal is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius before welding to prevent cracks in the welded joints. This process takes three days to complete. Closing weld. Joining the semi-vessels into a single, cohesive unit is a critical step in assembling the reactor plant. This process requires 600 kilograms of molten metal wire and results in a weld with a thickness of 150 millimeters. Welding the hydraulic chambers. Each hydraulic chamber, with a substantial weight of 4,500 kilograms, undergoes a 20-day welding process. Welds with a thickness of 82 millimeters are meticulously crafted. These hydraulic chambers play a vital role in the operation and control of the reactor plant. Fabrication of in-vessel internals and reactor closure head. The intricate components inside the reactor vessel, such as internals and the reactor closure head, are fabricated with precision. These components are designed to ensure the safe and efficient operation of the nuclear reactor within the icebreaker. The production of the reactor plant for the newest nuclear-powered icebreaker is a testament to the expertise, dedication, and innovation of the team at Atomenergomash. This nuclear heart powers the icebreaker through the harshest of Arctic conditions, allowing it to navigate frozen waters and maintain a strong presence in this challenging environment.